Good evening, this is Luke Holmquist here at the Earthquake Forecast Center, quakeprediction.com. It is 9.55 in the evening on Saturday, April 10th, 2021. And we have a warning for Southern California in the next uh, 24 hours or so from uh, San Francisco down to Palm Springs and including Santa Maria, Coalinga, and the most likely spot for this uh, 6.0 earthquake or larger uh, is from the Ridgecrest area to northwest of LA. So that's the, the highest risk area, but the actual warning is from Southern San Francisco Bay to near like Palm Springs. And then on the 12th and 13th of April, the risk remains very high northwest of LA from Santa Maria to Santa Barbara to Northwest LA. Uh, and that's on the 12th and 13th of April. Okay, let's go to the Alaska earthquake forecast. And we'll put that over there. All right, so the 9th and the 10th, uh, kind of east of Oldez here, is 75% risk there. And right now the 10th into the 11th, uh, high risk uh, west of Kodiak and Sand Point. And then on the 11th to the 12th, uh, near Kodiak and southwest of Anchorage. 12th and the, the 13th of April, uh, the risk diminishes. So the highest risk is on uh, the 11th into the 12th, southwest of Anchorage and northwest of Kodiak. And over in uh, Chile, the risk has been uh, mostly down here south of Santiago, Chile, near Concepcion. And we'll show you right now this area right here. This is, uh, we got a 4.4, 5.3, and a 4.7, just south of Concepcion, which is uh, south of Santiago down here. And you can see this little, uh, spot on the map here was uh, right about here. So this quakes occurred right in the 98% risk area. And then the on the 11th, the 12th, the 12th and the 13th of April, the risk is very high between La Serena, Chile and, and Santiago. So that area between La Serena and Santiago could get a 5.0 to 5.5 earthquake on the 12th into the 13th of April. And over in Italy, the risk is in the far northwest right now. And then on the 10th and the 11th, it's in the northern part of uh, Italy. And then uh, high risk down near Tunisia. The 11th to the 12th of April, uh, high risk in east central Italy and uh, Croatia to Bosnia in that area. And then the 12th and the 13th, High risk in the far south, but very high risk in the north, where it could produce a 4.0 up there. All these maps you can find over at uh, quakeprediction.com, and you can look at the maps more in more detail. Japan, the risk is very high right now. It is uh, April 11th over there in uh, in Japan, and this. Uh, forecast map is for the 10th into the 11th. So looking for a uh, 5.0 to 6.0 uh, near Tokyo or Ibaraki or Fukushima, Shizuoka east of Ibaraki here is the highest risk uh, for a significant earthquake. And then on the 12th into the 13th, the risk is south and southeast of Tokyo and uh, southeast of Shizuoka and southeast of Nagoya, this area, this risk level down here is very high, uh, southeast of Tokyo on the 12th and 13th of April. And in the Philippines, the risk remains high, uh, moderately high in the, in the far north. And the 10th and 11th, the 11th and 12th, same area and the high risk in the far north. The 12th and the 13th, the risk increases a little, little bit more there in the far north to 75% uh, risk. And uh, Greece, I believe we just uh, 
Yes, we got a 4.5 and a 4.2 over here in uh, Greece. Let's just look at that real quick. And you can see they occurred in uh, Western Greece, right over here. And that is right in this area here, which is in the 65% uh, risk area. And now on the 10th and the 11th, the risk is here in the Southwest and the 11th and 12th up near Albania. The 12th and the 13th, the risk moves into Northeastern Greece up near Istanbul, so pretty high risk up there. This is uh, 75, 80, 85, 90% risk up in there. And you can see this, uh, our legend is uh, yellow is 75, red is 95, blue is 20% and so on, on the legend there. And that's in uh, Greece. Over in Hawaii, the risk is um, pretty high right now. And that risk begins to diminish and and by the 12th and 13th, it, it drops down to uh, the low range, below 50% by the 12th and 13th. So there's pretty significant risk right now in, uh, in Hawaii. All right, Central America. Risk is up uh, near Guatemala is the highest risk, uh, the 10th into the 11th, and then uh, moderately high Risk there on the 11th and the 12th, Western Guatemala and Southern uh, Mexico. And then the 12th and the 13th, just uh, 50 to 55% risk across uh, Central America. All right, and then and to uh, Indonesia. Indonesia forecast here, and you can see there's a very high risk here south of Jakarta in the south of the island of uh, Java. And I'll show you there on our forecast map what happened down there. And you can see we got a, a 6.0 right here and a 4.8 and a 5.1 in this right about there, right in this uh, very high risk area in um, Indonesia. And then the risk stays kind of south of uh, the island of Java through the forecast period all the way out through the 12th and 13th. Indonesia, how about Taiwan? Taiwan's forecast. We had a very high risk uh, around Taiwan. And we will check this here and we'll go up to uh, Taiwan here. And you can see this 4.4 hit during that forecast period uh, right down here. Now the risk is uh, still pretty much across uh, the northern part of Taiwan. And then uh, the risk increases in the northern Ryukyu Islands on the 12th and 13th. State of uh, Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. Uh, the risk right now is kind of in central Idaho. And then uh, diminishes at the, after that and the 12th and the 13th, it's still in the uh, central Idaho area. Turkey and Cyprus forecast. So right now the risk is moving into central Turkey where 5.0 to 5.5 is likely in central Turkey. And then on the 12th and 13th, a high risk up near Istanbul. So you can see this uh, risk is uh, pretty high in central Turkey. All right, and then in the Caribbean, we have a uh, high risk up here in uh, near Haiti and Dominican Republic on the, uh, on the 10th. And uh, just kind of moderately high across there, 11th and 12th, 12th and 13th, 75% risk up there. So not a lot of really high risk, but just moderately high uh, across Haiti and Dominican Republic. It was interesting also back uh, a couple of weeks ago, the risk was very high in this less, um, central Lesser Antilles. And you can go back and see our videos on that area. And that's where that volcano erupted on uh, St. Vincent. Uh, so that's fascinating how these 
earthquakes and volcanoes kind of work uh, in concert together. And the risk goes up for volcanoes, it goes up for earthquakes as well, or, or vice versa. If, if the risk goes up for earthquakes, the risk for volcanoes goes up. And I had mentioned that in a, in a, uh, in a video a couple of weeks ago. All right, there's the Caribbean. So now let's do uh, New Zealand. And the risk is increasing in the north part of New Zealand, especially the northwest on the 11th and 12th. And you can see that here. And then the 12th and 13th, very high risk across uh, north and northwest New Zealand, where they could get a 6.0 earthquake or 5.5 to 6.0 earthquake on the 12th and 13th in northern New Zealand. Watch for that. All right, in Peru, Ecuador and Peru right here. The risk is in uh, Northwest Peru right now and Northwest Peru of the 10th to the 11th and the 11th to the 12th, the risk increases to 80% uh, in that area. All the way through the 12th and 13th. So the highest risk is on the 11th to the 12th where we could get a 4.5 in that area. All right, let's go one more time to the Los Angeles forecast. Again, a 6.0 earthquake is likely in the central to Southern California during the next 24 hours or so. And most likely to occur Northwest of LA in that area from, uh, from Ridgecrest down through uh, the Garlock Fault to Fraser Park, Northwest of LA there is the highest risk during the next 24 hours. All right, stay safe everybody. And uh, we will be back again uh, tomorrow, Sunday night, with an update. Uh, but the area to look out for is in central California and down to Northwest of LA during the next 24 hours. Also very high risk off east of Tokyo and uh, Northwestern New Zealand during the next 48 hours. And in central Turkey as well, high, very high risk during the next uh, 48 hours. And we'll be back with another update tomorrow. Thanks for watching and uh, God bless and we'll stay safe and we'll talk to you again tomorrow. Thanks.